hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is fajira so in today's video i'm going to share some companies currently recruiting with tier 2 visa sponsorship so stay tuned let's quickly dive right into the video the first on my list today is with nhs in lincoln shell they are recruiting for the position of a pharmacy technician band 5 and it's a permanent rule as you can see on their website and the pay is between twenty five thousand to thirty one thousand a year and this job advert is going to close on the 8th of september so hurry up and apply just as you can see applications are invited for the post of medicine management world and designated check-in pharmacy technician based at great hand hospital so this is what they are looking at for the main duties of the job uh, we are looking for a g BHC registered pharmacy technician who is committed, enthusiastic, and hardworking. So I would advise you just read through, like just read through all what they are looking at for, and see if you've got what they are looking for. And if you've got them, then I would advise that you do apply, because they clearly stated that visa sponsorship is available for applicants who do require it. So this is just the information about the organization. So I would advise that you take out time to read them through and see if it's an organization you would want to work with. But trust me, NHS is a very good organization. As you can see, some great benefits, NHS pension, annual leave, flexible working and career breaks, bank working, relocation packages. So and for the relocation package, say if a relocation package is offered for the rural, you could qualify for expenses of up to 25 percent of your starting salary which is very good for anyone who is relocating so these are still more benefits you will get from them family and child care health and well-being including mindfulness learning and development including lincolnshire trust discount and salary sacrifice including cycle to work rewards and recognition everybody wants to work where they will get back some rewards and be recognized for their good job so i would advise that you read through this and send in your application as soon as possible or if you know anyone who is a pharmacist please do share this video with them and also send ask them to send the application so they need at least 12 months experience working as a pharmacy technician working within policies and procedures no limits problem solving skills and so on experience of supervising others which is a very good one then attention to details use your use of your own initiatives and you have to be flexible every employer wants people that are flexible and for what it says that please note that we do not accept cvs and also applications from applicants will meet the current criteria for tier 2 sponsorship to work in the uk where both the rural and the candidates are deemed suitable for tier 2 are welcome and will be considered alongside other applicants as earlier mentioned that most of the jobs they advertise do not have this particular information so which means that this job can sponsor your visa so once you click on apply now it brings you to this page so if you haven't created an, an account with them please do create an account with them before applying so this is it so we're just going to go to the next job on our list today so the second job on my list is still with nhs in lincoln Shore, and they are recruiting for the position of a pharmacy technician but this is band four the previous one was band five and it's a permanent rule this is in boston the pay for this rural is between 22,000 to 24,000 per annum and it is 37.5 hours per week over seven days so the various shifts are also listed on the website so as you can see the applications are invited for the post of rotational pharmacy technician based at the p green hospital boston so it's the same organization but different location so I would advise that you read through it because I know that the job requirements are similar. So just go through it and ensure you fill out the application form based on the experiences they have mentioned. If you've got similar experience, I would advise that when filling out the application form, try to use some of the keywords in their own duties that they have advertised to, to paraphrase yours before submitting your form because that will really help you stand out. Most employers want you to like give them what they have said they are looking out for. So if you miss out in using some of their own keywords in your CV or in your application form, then you may be unlucky. So these are the qualifications they are looking for. MVQ, Big Tech, Informatics, Cortical Science or Equivalent. So 
registered as a pharmacy technician so just go through like earlier mentioned look at it and see if this is opportunity that you are qualified for or you know anybody who may be qualified for this opportunity then do forward this video to them and ask them to apply before the closing date so as you can see they also mentioned on their website that they do not accept cvs they do not accept cvs so you have to fill out the application form so make sure you fill out the application form. It's applications from applicants who meet the current criteria for tier 2 sponsorship to work in the UK where both the role and the candidate are deemed suitable for tier 2 visa are welcome and will be considered alongside other applications. Any job that will not sponsor will not put in there. So guys, try to apply as soon as possible. The closing date is on the 12th of September. So let's quickly go to the next one on my list. The next one on my list is still with NHS Lincolnshire and they are looking for an integrated assessment center portal. So, and this is a full-time position. The salary is between 20,000 to 21,000 per annum. As you can see, and it's a permanent trio as Elia mentioned. So let's go down to the overview of the job. So from what it says on their website, the applications are invited from enthusiastic and highly motivated individuals to join the estates and facility department portal team. The high profile role calls for good communication skills and experience of working closely with the general public. You will need to be able to cope calmly and effectively with both routine and emergency situations and be a compassionate professional and cautious individual so this position is from 2 p.m to 10 p.m Thursday to wednesday experience of working in a public sector environment would be an advantage as would experience of having work on iac you will need good communication skills be able to deal with the public so customer care is very important in this rural so main duties of this job potters are part of the facility department providing 24 hours cover for all wards and departments on the Pigrin hospital site. This is a varied and interesting post involving the movement of materials, equipment and patients around all departments on the Pigrin hospital. Working for our organization. So this is just the same with every other one you have read and these are some great benefits as well as earlier mentioned in the previous job I just talked about. So these are some skills they are looking at for able to demonstrate an ability to work to deadline. So able to demonstrate ability to work as part of an interdisciplinary team, able to demonstrate an understanding of moving and handling techniques, health and safety qualification stroke training, then qualification MVQ level two or equivalent in customer service. So this you don't have to be a medical personnel. This is for a customer service role. Like it's more of a customer service, like you know that potters, even in hotels, potters are people that, uh, like if somebody's checking in, a potter is somebody that could take the person's luggage to the room of the guest. So this is similar, but you have to be doing this in the hospital. So as clearly mentioned on their website, that please know that we do not accept CVs. So, so when filling out the form, ensure you put in all the customer service app experiences you have got in the past so that you will stand out for this rule. Applications from applicants will meet the current criteria for tier 2 sponsorship to work in the UK where both the rule and candidates are deemed suitable for a tier 2 visa are welcome and will be considered alongside all other applicants. So guys, take advantage of this. If you know any porter, if you know anybody that will suit this position, forward this video to them and ask them to apply. The closing date for this particular rule is on the 15th of September. So just create an account if you haven't done that and start your application as soon as possible. So we're going to go to the fourth one on my list. The fourth on my list today is still with NHS in Lincolnshire and this is for a position of a nurse or ODP, theatre position band 5. And this will, you basically be working in the theatre to assist in the theatre and it's a permanent role. As you can see, the pay is between $27,000 to £32 per annum. This is also closing on the 15th of September. So hurry and apply. We have an existing opportunity for theatre practitioners and healthcare support workers to join our team based at Great Ham. Scrub nurses stroke all DPs. We are looking for enthusiastic and motivated team players to join our friendly operating theatre department. We are offering positions in either scrub, anesthetic or circulatory roles. We will support learning and development and encourage skilled medicine 
We are currently a green site providing a seven-day service. We deliver a range of surgical specialties within our six theaters, including breast, gyno, general surgery, ENT, urology, and orthopedics. So they are actually looking for people to work with them in the theater. So I would advise to take our time to read out the main duties of the job. Look at it if it's something you're qualified. If you know you have any qualifications, then you do send in your application. So these are also some previous experiences they are looking out for, previous experience working as a theatre practitioner, teaching and assessing qualifications, experience recognizing and aesthetic courses, experience of post-registration development. So if you, these are just various things they are looking out for. So guys, I would advise you read through. It's a bit lengthy, but to be honest, if it's worth um, trying, take out time to read through and while filling out your form, ensure that you put in your experience into the way they have explained their own. So that will make you stand out because a lot of employers are basically looking out for what they have advertised. So my advice is try and fit in your experience into the way they have advertised the requirements and the duties you'll be carrying out. That will help you stand out. And it says, please note that we do not accept CVs. All of the jobs I've advertised today do not accept CVs. So ensure you take out time to fill out the application for See, applications from applicants who meet the current criteria for tier two visa sponsorship are welcome, just as you can see. I'm going to leave all the links in the description box below. Guys, I wish you good luck. Take out your time, fill them out, share this video with someone who may need it. And if you're yet to subscribe to join our beautiful family, please do not forget to hit on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. Bye-bye for now.